Hey there, this is Rick with the Mercedes Diesel Guy channel, and I'm working on my 2005 Toyota Sienna project today. And I'm going to get to a few DIY type videos uh, after this, but I just wanted to do a quick sort of blog entry video. Now, today I'm um, basically going to be doing door stuff. Uh, there, there are some door issues with this uh, minivan. I need to replace the exterior door handle on the driver's side sliding door and I need to replace the roller bearings uh, on the passenger side sliding door. I don't see any problems with the front passenger door or the uh, or the rear hatch but I also was planning on doing a little work here on the driver's side door and I want to show you what I ran, ran into and why I won't be able to fix this. So I already kind of took this apart and I did not do a DIY video. There are DIY videos out there on taking off the door panel. But I want to show you what I ran into here. So, uh, I didn't, I don't think I noticed it the day I bought the van. Maybe a day or two later, I had it here home. And I noticed that the door check strap was broken. And uh, I've never seen one actually snapped clear off in my life. So the first thing I did is I kind of fished around with my hand in here and I didn't see the nub of the old one, so I figured, okay, they must have taken the broken part out of here and just left this broken part here. I don't know why. I mean, if I were completely removing it, I would have just removed both parts. So, whatever, I ordered a brand new door check strap right here. Nice brand new item. And I was going to install it. So I uh, popped off the door panel. And then I realized that... There's nothing here inside of the door to which to anchor a new door check strap. So, I don't know what happened here. Uh, best I can figure is that somehow the old one seized up and somebody wrenched the door open too hard and just popped out whatever metal in here that the check strap is supposed to bolt to. Because I checked. I compared to the front passenger side door, and there should be some metal in here uh, to which to anchor the new door check strap. It's not there. So I don't know if it broke out, if they cut it out, or whatnot. So basically, I'm without a door check strap here unless I replace the door, or I'm going to go in here and do some welding. And I'm not planning on doing either one. Uh, with the door fully open, it's not hitting the fender, it's not really making contact with or damaging anything, so so I think we're just going to be mindful about opening this door, not opening it too fast, uh, and uh, hoping for the best there, because I think short of replacing this whole door just for that, uh, there's really not much of anything I can do to fix this. So, uh, I, this is something I've never seen before, but it just... It just fits in line with, you know, buying a used car, and this is one of the many kind of things you find out after the fact. Because, you know, a used car is rarely perfect, and sometimes you just find weird stuff like this hidden, and you find it after the fact. So, I'm going to move on, I'm going to get the door panel back on here, and then move on to other stuff, and just leave well enough alone with this door, so... Uh, this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Like I said, this is just kind of a day in the life kind of thing. If you like this sort of thing, uh, you know, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.